Shalom. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, pushing this gospel to, of truth to the elect of the nation of Israel who were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, I wanted to do a uh, response to this Yah Club Israelite. And these are Israelites that refuse to acknowledge the Heavenly Father or address him by his name, Yahweh. They like to call him Yah because they think it sounds cool. All right. By referring to the Heavenly Father by a nickname that these people gave him. His name is Yahweh. Okay. Which means he exists. Yah means he. Hawa means exists or to be. Yahweh. That's his name. Okay. When you call him Yah, you're just calling him he. He. All right, that's not his name. So anyway, so I, I did a video last week titled, let's see, Hebrew Israelites, ye are gods. So why are you voting for these devils to keep oppressing you? Now, I had a couple of them come out and make comments about this video. And number one, about me referring to... Um, John chapter 10 verse 34 because the Messiah himself referred to us as gods because that's what we are but see the infinitesimal understanding of the holy scriptures amongst these Yah club Israelites okay is just it's it's mind-boggling to me that they have all this knowledge yet they don't go out to the highways and the hedges they don't go out to the streets to teach the gospel and they never make videos you might have a few of those knuckleheads making videos, but even that, you know, they're still going off because they don't understand the scriptures. And this is more proof that Yahweh is not dealing with these Yah Club Israelites because they think that they know more than they do. OK, because if he knew as much as he thinks he knows, he'd be out there making videos. Right. He'd be out there on the streets like we are week in and week out teaching the gospel to the elect of our people. Right? Condemning the heathens as we're commanded to do. Why would you take issue with this? Anyway, let me read what this um, ignorant Yah Club Israelite has to say about us being gods. He was not calling us as people gods. He was speaking from Psalms 82, 1 through 6. He was saying, since they had scriptures where the Father referred to you are, are gods, then why do they have such a hard time believing when he, Yahawashai, the anointed, his name's not Christ, said he has come from God as his son. The father was referring to heavenly court that were over all of the nations except Yasharah. That's, where did you get that? That's not in the Bible. Where is that? Find the scripture where it says that the heavenly court Whoever that is, is over all nations except Israel. For Yasharal belongs, belongs to Yah and are his portion. Well, that's true. Bro, he never called us gods. Well, we're going to prove you wrong and I'm not your brother. He was referring to the angels also known as the sons of God. And this is just, again... These people have no understanding of the scriptures whatsoever. You can't even get mad at them. You know, the only thing I get angry at is that they, they, they think themselves to be these, these experts in the scriptures when they don't know anything. And they're not teaching anybody. They only, they're only inspired and motivated to come on the comment boards of GMS and the brothers teaching the likewise doctrines. Right? Why aren't you compelled to make lessons on your own to teach the people, if you, if, to teach the Israelites if you know so much? Crickets. He was referring to angels, also known as the sons of God. We're also referred to as angels. We're also referred to as sons of God. But you don't understand that. That's beyond your comprehension. And even though, yes, they were sons of God, yet they will die like mortal men. Right. This isn't talking about the angels of heaven. Now, let me clarify that. 
and it's all because of the unjust judgments they have made against those under them. Just like in Daniel, it was the watchers that decreed the judgment against Nebuchadnezzar because he was not Yasharal. Well, Daniel was an Israelite. What are you talking about? I pray you are blessed by this. And in regards to Edomites, please read Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 7. You see, they want us to love the Edomites. And this is the only time these people are only inspired and motivated to teach the gospel. When the true men of the Lord are making lessons, they want to come out like little roaches and, and um, sow discourse and try to undermine our teachings. Okay, well, I'm going to prove you that you're wrong. Everything you said in here pretty much is wrong, except for us being the portion of the Lord, of course, and the Hamashiach, Yahawashai, the anointed, yeah, they were, the, 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 the controversy arose with these Israelites questioning his son of God status. Okay, but again, well, let's just get some scriptures because I'm tired of repeating myself. All right, let's go to the book of uh, John, chapter 10, verse 34. And you got to understand the context. All right. And you can't do that when the Lord's not dealing you with dealing with you with his Holy Spirit. Okay? You don't understand something so simple and something so straightforward. Now, who is his audience? Who is he talking to? Ye are gods. He's not talking to the angels in heaven, right? But they're gods too. Okay, they're not the God, but they're gods. John 10 34. And Hamashiach, the anointed, answered them. Is it not written in your law? Well, let me give you context. Let's start at 33. And the Jews answered him, saying, For good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou being a man makest thyself Yahweh. And he's trying to explain to these, these idiots, just like I'm tr we're trying to explain to this guy, Mac, whatever his name is, that we are the sons of God, just like Yahweh Shai is the son of God. Now, we're not on Yahweh Shai's level, okay? We're not. We're under him. But we were with him from the beginning, okay? And we'll get that. <sighs> is it not written in your law? He wouldn't be talking to angels, okay? They're in heaven, right? He's talking to mortal men on this earth. And he's, but yet he's still referring to them as gods. If he called them gods unto whom the word of Yahweh came, and the scripture can't be broken. So the word of Yahweh came to those of us who are referred to as gods. Right? And before we go any further, let's look up the word God. Because, again, you Yacht Club Israelites don't even look up words. And this is why, in part, you're ignorant. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Is this talking about Yahweh? No, it's not. And we'll prove that. Let's look up the word. This should be in small g. God. What's the word? Elohim. Not Elohim. A lot of you Yah Club Israelites also refer to the Lord as Elohim. And you're using that out of context. The definition. Strong's H430, entry 1. Eloah. Eloah. Second entry. Elohim. Elohim. Well, let's find out who this is. The third entry. Eloah. Eloah. Well, it's Elohim and Paleo Hebrew because there were no O's, E's, and U's. So it's Elohim. Okay? But that's another lesson for another time. Well, let's look at the definition. Mac. Rulers. Judges. Are we not the rulers of the world, of the earth? Under Yahweh Shai? Judges. Yes, we're referred to as judges of the earth right now. 
in our human flesh, in, in, in this flesh, divine ones, angels, right, gods, plural intensives, singular meaning, uh, meaning. And this is the context. Well, it's plural. This is plural, but also works or special possessions of Yahweh. God-like. Are we not referred to as God-like? Of course we are. And there's scriptures to substantiate that. Elohim plural. Gods in the ordinary, ordinary sense, but specifically used in the plural. Thus, especially with the article of the supreme God. Okay, so the people who, uh, so the creators of the earth, Yahweh created the earth, of course. Okay, he sanctioned it. But he didn't come down from heaven himself, from his throne to create the earth. Okay, he got his son, Yahweh the top angel. And those were, those angels that were with him from the beginning. Okay. So we can be referred to as judges and rulers. We are the future rulers and judges of this earth, right? So we can be called gods, okay? Let's go to Psalms 82. Let's go to Psalms 82. So just like Yahweh Shai had a hell of a time trying to convince the circumcision that we are gods, that he was a god, I guess he probably had the same hard time or difficult time trying to convince them that they're gods too. Right? We understand we're not on Yahweh's level. We're not even on Yahweh Shai's level. Are we? Now let's read the subheading. Unjust judgments rebuked. Right? Yahweh standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. Who are the gods? We just read who the gods were. How long will ye judge unjustly? If you're judging, doesn't that make you a judge? Of course it does. And accept the persons of the wicked. These aren't angels in heaven that are doing the judging. Mac. Defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods. Is he talking about the, the gods up there in, 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 in heaven? The angels? The sons of God as you call them? No, he's not talking about them. He's talking about these judges who are judging unjustly, right? And he's saying, well, you got the Bible, so there's, there's no reason for you to be judging unjustly, okay? You need to judge righteous judgment, as the scripture says. See, if angels from heaven were coming down here judging, they would be judging right, righteously because he wouldn't have this, this issue with them. They wouldn't be judging unjustly. Do you understand that? I have said, ye are gods. This is talking about men. Okay? And all of you are children of the Most High, but ye shall die like men. Well, the angels that kept their first estate, meaning the, the, the sons of God, who then became uh, the Hebrew Israelites, because before we were Israelites, we were referred to as the sons of God. Read that. Look it up. Okay? But he's saying, yeah, you started off like gods, all right? Creating the earth with Yahweh Shai, but the Lord sent us down here on earth to inhabit human flesh, okay? Which, which means, you know, we're, we're not going to be able to judge justly or righteously because of this, this human flesh. We are subject to sin. Okay, and this is why we die like men, because of sin, right? So this can't be talking about the angels in heaven, per se, okay? They don't die like men. They remain in their first estate, okay? 
But ye shall die like men and fall like the ones, the one of the princes. Now, let's go to the book of Psalms because we know the angels are righteous and they don't sin. Okay? So they could not have been cast down. These angels here. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. So this isn't talking about the angels. <clears throat> um, this isn't talking about the sons of God here on earth or the Israelites here on earth. Okay, this is even talking about the left-hand side angels or the demons because they are under strict orders of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai up there in heaven. They do the evil down here on earth through men, through the Edomites. Okay, and other wicked people. All right, but it starts with the, the wicked. Do you understand that? Mac. Let's go to the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but, their, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Well, we know this isn't talking about the angels in heaven now. Because they're dwelling in heaven. These angels, okay, we are those angels. All right, we didn't keep our first estate. And I'm saying we as in the Israelites. Okay, the first fruit spirits that were with Yahawashai when he created this earth. Okay, and I don't even think, I don't think I got that. And we'll get that in a minute. And the angels which kept not their first estate, okay, in heaven, but left their own habitation, right? He hath reserved in everlasting chains of darkness. What are the chains of darkness? This flesh, okay? Now, a Yah Club Israelite probably believes that this is talking about fallen angels. There's no such thing as fallen angels. We just read that, okay? In Psalms 103, verse 20, the angels keep the commandments of the Lord. So how in the world could they have rebelled in heaven? There's no such thing as fallen angels. You don't even understand that, I bet. Okay? So, again, the Heavenly Father chose the first fruit spirits, along with Yahawashai, okay, to inhabit human flesh at some point. And we are those angels unto the judgment of the great day. So when the Lord returns, we're going to remove, he's going to remove these chains of darkness from us and put us in new bodies. And we're going to be like Yahawashai, right? Doesn't it say that in 1 John? We shall be like him. And what is he? He is a God, right? Now that's referencing, Now, of course, in that context, this is more referring to his physical state but also him as a judge of the earth because this is going to be his, his kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is going to be Yahawashai's. Okay, but we're going to be God-like uh, in a physical sense, but also in a spiritual sense because we're going to be the rulers of this world, right? Of course, 144,000, Lord's will, I'm, one, I'm of that number. I'm not saying I am, okay? So, let's see. Let's go back to the uh, book of, where were we, where were we, Genesis, let's go back to Genesis 1, in the beginning, Yahweh judges with under Yahushai created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of Yahweh moved upon the face of the waters okay and Yahweh said let there be light and there was light now this again this is the Alahayim okay this throws people off because this is a capital G but we just read it all right it said judges 
dots, small g, okay? So who was at, who was with the uh, who did the creating in the beginning? Was it Yahweh himself? Well, I just answered that, right? Let's go to the book of First John or John. Chapter 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Yahweh, and the Word was Yahweh. Now, it doesn't mean he was literally Yahweh, but he was on one accord, okay, from the beginning. The same was in the beginning with Yahweh. All things were made by him, and the Allah Hayyam, and without him was not anything made that was made. So Yahweh, again, is not going to come from his throne to do any of the construction of the, the universe. He doesn't have to. He's the king. There's no king on this earth that ever really partook in the building of their kingdom. They usually have people under them doing that. Okay, if I were king, I wouldn't be doing any work. I'd have all my people under me doing the work. Right? And when Yahweh Shai comes, he's not going to be doing the work per se. He's, he's the king. He should be sitting on his throne chilling, directing. Right? This is why he has the 144,000 ordained by the Heavenly Father to do all the work. Okay? Let's go to the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 4. For if Yahweh spared not the angels that sinned. This is talking about men. This is talking about men, also referred to as angels, but cast them down to hell, not a literal place called hell, the condition of hell and suffering and affliction, and delivered them into chains of darkness. Again, this flesh. Okay, these are metaphors. All right, not for the average person to understand, including you, Yah Club Israelites. All right, and what is this context? The rise of false prophets. Okay, angels aren't false prophets. Angels aren't down here on earth teaching the gospel in chains of darkness, right? Let's go to the book of Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 8. And that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and this is the point, and the house of David shall be as God. Whoa. Did you hear that, Mac? The house of David, meaning the elect of the nation of Israel, first and foremost, shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. This is the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, okay? The one that created the heavens and the earth, all right? And we were those angels that were with him when he did that. And I'm not saying I was. I'm just saying we as a point of reference. Okay? The elect of the nation, those first fruit spirits. Let's say that. Okay? Which is synonymous with the elect. Okay? Mac, you don't understand what you're reading, son. You should sit down. Take notes from the men of the Lord. The real men of the Lord. The brothers who are out there diligently teaching. This gospel, right? We're not sitting on the sidelines, you know, criticizing, going to different people's, uh, different men's um, comment boards, criticizing their teachings, okay? Because you're the one that's in the wrong. You don't know what you're talking about, right? And it's proof. I just proved it. You don't know what you're talking about. How in the world could the Lord be talking about the angels in heaven? Okay, no, you don't understand the context. We are referred to the angels as had, uh, as angels as as well. Okay, let's see. John chapter fifteen verse twenty seven. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. Yet Yahweh Shai wasn't creating the heavens and the earth on his own. Okay. He was the chief angel, the top angel amongst the Allah gods, right? Come on, dude, this is too easy. Too easy. 
guess I go to 1 Corinthians where it says that we shall be changed. But no, I don't need to do that. I've proven my point. Okay, Lord's will, this was edifying. I want to say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You Yah Club Israelites better get the name of the Lord right. Okay, number one, first and foremost. But number two, you better follow the right doctrine. Lord sent men that came 30 and 40 years before you, and you got you got the nerve to come along and act like you know more than the Heavenly Father's prophets. Okay? It's, it's just arrogance, man. You people are going to be destroyed if you don't repent. Shalom.